Hello and welcome back to SciTai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify the first GoPro camera by simply removing the lens and removing the IR cut filter. And to make a regular GoPro camera turn into a full spectrum GoPro camera. Let's get started. <laughs> I have right here the first original GoPro Hero camera. This camera is the very first one that started all of the GoPro cameras. And I'm going to show you how to modify this camera. I'm going to show you two methods on doing that. I'm going to show you the hard way first and then the easy way. Let's get started. And what I need to do is remove the waterproof housing. And as you can see, I added the LCD accessory, allowing me to be able to see what the camera can see. First, what I need to do is remove the LCD, put it to the side, remove the battery hatch, and now remove the battery. And as you can see, there are four little screws that are inside. I need to remove these four screws. Carefully remove the screws. And now carefully open it up slowly so you don't damage any ribbon cables. This right here is the speaker. And as you can see, the first ribbon cable. And as you can see, there are four more screws. I need to carefully remove those screws as well. There are two more screws that are attached to the heat sink. I need to remove those as well. And carefully move the back housing and you can see there is one more screw that is attached to the circuit. I need to remove that as well. And there, all of the necessary screws are now removed. And now I can carefully remove the front housing. Don't do it fast because there is some more ribbon cables. Okay, good. Nothing attached except for the little LCD. Next, what I need to do is take these pliers and carefully remove the lens. And using these pliers, will allow the lens to be detached from the adhesive that is holding the lens in place. This will allow the lens to become more loose and easier to remove. And now the lens is loose, and now I can finish it with using my hand. And there, the lens is now removed. And there, you can see the sensor and the IR cut filter. And now what I'm gonna do is take this tool and carefully place it where there's those flush cuts and then carefully remove the ring screw that is holding the IR cut filter in place. And there, the IR cut filter is ready to be popped out. Take these little tweezers. And there, the IR cut filter is now removed. And now do everything I just did in reverse. But first, I'm going to show you how to properly put the lens back in place. Make sure it's nice and even, and as you can see, this little line right here is where it was attached to this rim right here that is attached by the glue. I need to screw it down that deep, which will give me the idea of how it's going to be able to focus. And now a magic clap, everything is put back in place. And there you have it. Now you have your very own full spectrum camera. And now it's time to turn it on to test it out. And as you can see, it doesn't turn on. That's because this battery is actually very old and this battery does not work anymore. So what I need to do is simply remove it. Discard it because it's not needed anymore. Place the LCD back in place. And now what I'm gonna do is take this USB connector, connect it to the camera, and now push the button to turn it on. And there, the camera turns on. And there, as you can see, it works, and you can see what the camera can see. Unfortunately, it's out of focus, so what I need to do is open it up again and adjust the lens. Now, instead of opening it up, I'm going to show you now the second method, which is the easy way. All you have to do is simply take this file and cut off the housing that is around the lens. This part here is the easiest method, if you don't care about the cosmetic effect of the camera. If you want to preserve the cosmetics of the camera, then do it the hard way. Doing it the easy way will not preserve the cosmetics of the camera. It'll make the camera look a little bit ugly. Simply remove it, 
and you have access to the lens. All you have to do is take the pliers and remove the lens and remove the IR cut filter. And doing this method makes it easier to focus the lens while the camera is still turned on. And as you can see, the camera is now in focus. Now you may be wondering, why is it in full spectrum? That's because I'm indoors where there is no UV light nor infrared light being emitted. All you see is just visible light. And now it's time to test it out. I'm going to show you the before and after recordings. And this is what the video looks like before I modified the camera. And now this is what it looks like when you modify the camera by removing the IR cut filter. Everything is now in full spectrum. The world in full spectrum is absolutely beautiful. And there you have it. Now you know how to modify the first GoPro camera by simply removing the IR cut filter to turn it into a full spectrum camera. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.